The Living Ash Project has been entrusted by DEFRA to identify trees from areas of high infection that are showing really good tolerance to ash dieback. We're bringing these trees together in a national archive of tolerant material to start a new breeding program to ensure we have ash trees for the future. Ash dieback. We know it's here and we know how destructive it can be. In Europe it's caused massive devastation and has killed millions of trees. But not all trees die. So big mature trees, as in the name, ash die back, they succumb slowly as the crown gradually dies back. Smaller trees, as you can see in this younger stand, succumb much more quickly. But some trees actually are very, very tolerant of the disease and evidence from the continent suggests about 1% are really highly tolerant, such as this tree here. So this is the sort of tree that the Living Ash Project is really interested to find and to hear about from all you land managers and foresters. Because it's trees such as this, where you've got a really healthy tree in an area of high infection, so we know this tree will have been exposed to the disease, and yet it's dealing with it really well. It's a highly resistant tree. So as a land manager, you may be uh, inspecting your stands and you may have highly infected ash stands. And we want you to find these trees and report them to us. So rather than felling all the trees for tree health safety reasons, if you find trees like this, we really need you to leave these trees because these are the trees that are going to ensure that we have ash trees for the future. Because we can collect grafting material from these trees, graft them onto rootstocks that have been selected from other tolerant trees, and then we can add them to our national archive of tolerant material that we can then start a new breeding program for. This 1% of trees, we need your help finding, and it's trees like this that we want you to identify and report to the Living Ash Project. You can do this on the project website, www.livingashproject.org.uk, but you can also do it in the field. And you can do that on your smartphone or tablet, and you just go to the project website, and you can see here that there's a report a tree tab on that website where you can add the details of this tree in the field. And we do require an eight-figure grid ref so that we can refine it, or you can use what three words to identify the meter square within your woodland so that we can find this tree again. It's a good idea to mark these trees. You can do this with a solid paint ring of a colour. I use white because most foresters don't use white, so white is a keep tree rather than a fell tree. So the trees that we really want you to report are those that are within the forest or within a stand where you've got a, a relatively high proportion of ash that's badly infected so that we can be sure that the tree has come into contact with the disease and it's not just looking healthy through disease escape. So although we know a lot of people are really passionate about ash trees, we're not looking for trees in people's gardens or hedgerows because these trees may not yet have come into contact with the disease. We really need trees that are within a forest stand where you can see that other ash trees are infected. Please fill out the form. Please let us know.